Okay, today's uh, day three, uh, uh, being in Mexico, day one of the race. So we're about ready to start in about a half an hour. Uh, Wes is getting ready over there. Um, we're kind of doing some last minute prep on the bike, just making sure everything's nice and tight and ready to go. We're really excited. Um, the uh, rally guys came over, the rally comp guys, and got everything loaded. Um, today is a 140 mile, or I'm sorry, 140 kilometer stage with liaisons. Uh, it's a relatively short day. Uh, apparently, uh, Wes is going to spend a lot of his time in the dunes, so uh, he's going to be using some of the uh, navigation off the uh, rally comp here. So um, we're excited, you know, a little bit nervous. It's the first day. We've got a brand new bike and, uh, you know, don't have that much testing time on it. So, um, but we're, we're pretty confident that uh, it's going to be a good day. I'm uh, Wes Van Neuenhaus, come from uh, Seattle, Washington area, and uh, race in the Sonora Rally 2021 on a Husqvarna 501, uh, prepared by Rottweiler Performance. Really looking forward to it. This will be my third year. Last year I did it with Chris on his 790 rally bike that he built, and we did really well. I yeah, ended up getting fourth overall, nine seconds off the podium, and uh, came really close. Well, this year we got four factory riders, so we'll be racing against them, and uh, there's a whole string of ex-professional racers as well that have won Baja uh, 1000 multiple times, so it's gonna be a stacked field. Gotta thank uh, my dad at Cyclops Adventure Sports, obviously Chris at Rottweiler for doing all of this. Uh, without him, I'd be on my own, kind of. Uh, so just ready for first day of racing. so we can see Wes and um, we just looked on the spot uh, device he's carrying a spot X which we can we can see on the phone and it looks to me like he's already finished and he's headed to he's on a highway so we're gonna head back to the bivouac and, and catch him there I came up across it was probably three quarters of the race I saw happy I saw Billy I saw uh, like 15 other guys all in this big circle and everybody's oh, just no. lost uh, and I'm only like 30k from the or 20k from the finish and I'm like they started following me and I'm like you got a lot more to do than just make a finish it, you know <laughs> well this is part of rally is navigating right I'm surprised how well I did with the navigation for I haven't done it since last year since last the race well, you're natural. Awesome. Cool. This is a good way to start to do that. Yeah, hopefully they won't throw it out. I don't think they, they yeah, should. They shouldn't. I mean, I mean you did everything right. 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 If I everybody did everything wrong, maybe. Yeah, yeah but if but you had some people that did and some people that didn't. Yeah, that's that's yeah, how that's, rally works. Yeah, that's well, what it's all about. Only going to be like three guys. So? Then three guys proved that they did what they should do. Yeah, I would agree. Just the pro guys have a lot of clout behind them, so, well, let's see. Uh, so, day started off really good. Uh, I haven't ridden this bike at all, or done any nav since this time last year, and uh, so I was kind of hesitant about that, but Picked it right back up where I left off. Uh, didn't really make too many mistakes off the get-go and just got comfortable with the bike. And Chris definitely built an incredible bike. And then Alex with the suspension, it was awesome. 
Uh, there was a lot of people that had problems with the rally comp. Uh, an arrow usually opens up at, when you get near a waypoint, and so you want to follow the arrow until you get to the waypoint, but it was picking up uh, later waypoints that we haven't even got to. So some guys didn't realize they were doing that and stopped following the road book and would just follow the arrow. And so they skipped like 20, 30 kilometers of the race. So they only did like two thirds of the race maybe. And I just, I realized that was wrong. And so I just kept following the road book and did the entire course uh, without any penalties. It hit all the waypoints. So it worked out well for me, but a lot of the other guys are having issues. So they might neutralize the stage, which would put everybody at zero and kind of start fresh tomorrow, which would suck for me, but we'll find out. And there was a lot of riders were following the arrows blindly, which they shouldn't have done, and it caused a safety hazard. We had head-on traffic going at each other, and at that point I had to make a safety decision, and the decision was I'd have to start to cancel that part of the stage. And to not give away everything, we was, took the timing point from the CP1, which is about the time I called it, everybody had cleared that CP. So that was the only fair way to do this and still have a time for you guys to ride on from tomorrow and have a start list. So I do apologize about that. I know some of you rode the whole stage. I've been in the same situation as a driver on Dakar. I know how annoying that is. I've had stages canceled before. So I, I apologize, that's not what our intent was. It was a safety issue and it was, I had no choice. Okay, so we just got out of the riders meeting and what they informed us was that there was an issue with a rally comp where it was causing some safety issues and, and riders were coming at each other, which is obviously very dangerous. So uh, the decision they made ultimately uh, cost us a few positions. Um, we actually did really well today. Um, Wes followed all the rules and hit all his waypoints and did really well. But unfortunately, because they tossed out the, uh, the stage, um, it put us um, in from the top five to probably, I think we're sitting at eighth overall. So a little disappointing, but we're still within seconds of a lot of the factory teams. It's the first day out of five. So um, it was the right decision to make. We're looking forward to the rest of the week. And uh, we're, you know, we're still pretty positive that we're going to do real well uh, tomorrow. So looking forward to that. a neutral area right here where Wes um, will hopefully be coming through without any issues. Uh, we do have the ability to fix him uh, if he does have any issues, but we'll be on the clock if we do. So we got to hustle uh, in this area. Uh, best case scenario, he comes through, gives us a thumbs up, maybe a wheelie and he's gone and uh, he's doing well. Worst case, you know, we got something to fix. He's got an issue with the bike and, uh, you know, we can fix it here. So uh, we're out here with a, a number of other teams and, you know, it's a waiting game. You kind of hurry up and wait to get out here and just, uh, you know, wait for the riders to come in and that's all we're doing, so.